Oh man, there's so many different toppings and everything sounds delicious. Konnichiwa everyone, right now I'm at Haneda International Airport. I'm not leaving the country, I'm just here to eat some onigiri. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, Onigiri Konga. Woo! What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you. So you might be wondering, why did Hannah go all the way to Haneda International Airport just to eat some onigiri when she can buy that basically anywhere in Japan? You're right, I can buy onigiri anywhere in Japan, but onigiri konga is special. So the owner of onigiri konga worked under Yumiko Ukon, the owner of onigiri bongo, which is one of the most famous and one of the most popular onigiri restaurants here in Tokyo. Kind of like Ukon-san was the master and the owner of onigiri konga was the apprentice. So I know the onigiri will be amazing. This onigiri konga is located on the fourth floor of Haneda International Airport. It's the floor just right above the departure floor. They also have an English menu, so you don't have to worry about not being able to read Japanese or accidentally choosing mystery toppings. They have a lot of different flavors to choose from. We decided on five different toppings so we can show you a variety of delicious onigiri and it cost us 2,526 yen. A little pricey, but I'm sure it's totally worth it. It's pretty popular, so we have to wait 30 minutes for our orders. Okay, so our orders are now here and the smell is just, oh. Again, one of those days when I wish I can bottle up the smell and send it to you guys. Ooh, I'm so excited. This is my first meal of the day. I just want to talk a little bit about this onigiri. So this onigiri has a couple of features. First, it's gorgeous. I mean, look at it. They're just really pretty onigiri. I can just stare at them for the longest time, but I eventually have to eat them. Second, they have a variety of different toppings and they also put an extremely generous amount of it inside the onigiri. Because I don't know if you tried convenience store onigiri. It has a good amount, but this has a generous amount. Like, they went ham. And what I love about it is that you can choose to put two toppings together, then you have a whole wide variety of different flavors. You can have like a massive explosion of flavors in your mouth. And last, which I think is the most important feature of this onigiri, usually onigiri is pressed or squeezed tightly for it to stay together. But this onigiri, they only press it a few times and actually quite gently, so the rice remains light and fluffy. So I bet when I bite into this later, the stickiness of the rice will still be chewy, but it's gonna fall apart in my mouth and it's gonna be a really great experience. We were originally only going to order three, but I just had to try lots of different flavors. We did travel all the way to Haneda International Airport just for this, so five. Five lovely onigiri. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Which one should I try first? Maybe we try the lightest one first. Let's try the shiso kombu. Shiso is a leaf, very acquired taste, and kombu is kelp. I'm so excited about this. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. Just my first bite. Oh my gosh, the rice is cooked to absolute perfection. It is what they say it is. Very light and fluffy rice. So once you bite into it, everything crumbles in your mouth and there's a mixture of flavors. Delicious. The kombu is quite sweet, which I expected, but how do I explain? This is kind of like home-cooked onigiri mixed with gourmet. This is so good. Mm. Oh yeah. Next I'll try the tuna mayonnaise. I don't know if you're afraid to try Japanese flavors, so I wanted to order something that is widely known. And actually, this is one of my favorite flavors. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. The tuna mayonnaise in a convenience store onigiri is also quite delicious, but the tuna mayonnaise in the convenience store is a little sweet. This one is not sweet at all. It's more savory and sour at the same time, and I think they may have put a little bit of soy sauce in it. It's delicious. Next up is a stamina yakiniku. Oh, I know this is gonna be good. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am in heaven right now. This is, so far, from the three, this is top one for me. It's sweet and a little bit spicy. The meat has a bite to it. It's been marinated for a long time. Oh, it matches so well with rice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That stamina yakiniku was woo, mind blowing. Extremely flavorful. So I've saved supposedly the top two most famous flavors in onigiri konga. We have the salmon with ikura, and I think it's been seasoned in soy sauce. And we have soboro with the egg yolk. The soboro is a minced meat and it's sweet. And this is number one and number two. I don't know if this can top the yakiniku, but if it is the most popular ones, then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go crazy. Let's try number two first, which is the salmon with the ikura. Oh. I mean, wow. If you love salmon, like me, you're gonna fall in love with this. It might be a little bit salty because it has the ikura and the ikura is, I'm guessing, seasoned in soy sauce, but wow. The moment you bite into it, you taste the salmon and then suddenly an explosion of the ikura flavor once they start popping in your mouth. Ooh, wow, this is an amazing onigiri right here. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of green tea. Ooh, this is a Demon Slayer one. I've never watched Demon Slayer, but I've heard so many good things about it. <sighs> mm. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> this soboro with egg yolk. Ooh. Mm. Mm. I just know it's gonna be amazing. Mm. Mm. Look at that. So much like the salmon with the ikura, this one you immediately taste the minced meat. So it, it's quite sweet, not as sweet as the stamina yakiniku one. Just the perfect amount of sweetness. Once that's settling in your mouth, then you are hit with the flavor of the egg yolk. And it's also perfectly seasoned. It's not too salty. It's not sweet. You taste the creaminess from the yolk. This is number one. And I can definitely understand why this is number one. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh man yeah so this is i think the most well balanced it's perfectly balanced none of the flavors overpower each other i can taste the rice the soboro and the egg yolk and it just blends beautifully and they work well together this is number one mm. Mm. okay if i were to rank all the onigiri that i just ate today Number one would definitely be the soboro with the egg yolk. Number one, hands down. Number two would be the salmon with the ikura. Oh, just an explosion of flavors. Number three would be the stamina yakiniku. I don't know, maybe it's because I love yakiniku. Number four would be the shiso kombu. I actually really, really like that as well. Just light, perfect, it was good. And number five would be the tuna mayonnaise. Like I said, all of them are good, but I'm just racking for fun. So yeah, 
That was the best onigiri I've ever had in my life so far. And if you are going to be coming to Haneda International Airport, I highly recommend you try onigiri konga. And if you have extra time in Tokyo and you're willing to wait, why don't you guys try onigiri bongo as well? So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet, and see you in the next video. Woo!